Hey folks, welcome to this video. In today's class, we're going to be talking about how to answer verb be questions, okay? You know the verb to be is, are, is, and am, right? Okay? The first one is like, we're going to find a lot like, how are you, right? It's a verb be question. How are you? Okay? We find another are here. Are you feeling okay? Okay? Um, am I supposed to look happy? Am. Okay? This, that's the verb be. Is, are, am. Okay? It goes, for example, I, the personal pronoun I goes with am. Okay? The, if you're talking in third person, she, he, it, is is. If you're speaking in second person, you're going to say are. Are they, are we, are you, okay? All right, let's keep going. The first example, how are you? How are you going to answer that, okay? I'm, that means I am, right? But it's contracted. This apostrophe was put here to say I am, okay? Two words into one. I'm all right, okay? Or I am fine. I am fine, okay? I am feeling fine. How are you? I'm all right. Are you feeling okay? I'm feeling fine, okay? That's the correct way to answer verb be questions. If it's directly to you, how are you? Are you feeling okay? You gotta consider also the personal pronoun you're using which is you in this case okay next one um, uh, am I supposed to look happy am I am I supposed to look happy so somebody else is saying is that person supposed to look happy so you're gonna use you right yes you are yes you are it's your birthday Okay, well that's just a compliment. Am I? You are. Okay? Next one. Is he going to the party? It's in third person. You could say, is she going to the party? Okay, also. Or is it going to be okay? Okay. Is he going to the party? He. Okay. Are they coming anytime soon? Are they? This is our verb to be. And the personal pronoun. Okay? I don't think he is. You can also um, answer negatively. He is. Okay? You could say he's not. No, he's not. Or no, he isn't. Okay? But right here I'm showing you another way to answer that question, which is I don't think, since this is already negative here, you don't need two negatives, right? I don't think he isn't would be like you think he is, right? But you don't think he is, okay? Next one, they said that they were. Are they coming anytime soon? Are they coming anytime soon? They said they were, okay? This is the past of the verb be, okay? Were. When you're like, for example, saying, um, Speaking in second person, you were, they were, we were, you use were. But if it's in, in um, third person, it's was. Or if it's first person, okay? I, she, he, it, you're going to use was, okay? And the rest of the personal pronouns, you're going to use were, okay? This is how you're supposed to answer verb be questions. If you're answering verb be questions, you're supposed to use a verb be, but in the correct way, right? How are you? I am. I am all right. I am feeling fine, okay? You gotta know this, okay? I'm gonna move on to some practice so I can explain to you how to connect the personal pronouns to the verb be in a correct way and some more questions, okay? All right. All right, folks, let's get some practice. As you can see here on the left side of the board, I have all the personal pronouns written down. 
okay? You're probably wondering why I have you twice. One is like you, if you're one person, and the other one is like plural, okay? All of you, all right? You're gonna help me fill in the blanks in the right first to figure out which is the correct form of the verb be for each personal pronoun, and then you're gonna help me answer these questions, okay? All right, let's get started. I are, right? I are. I is. Not right. Not quite, right? <laughs> so we're gonna use I am, right? I am. You is, right? You is. Is. Not really, huh? You are. You are. He is third person. He is. She is also a third person. So we're going to use is. It is. We are. You what? You are. And they are. Okay? You know that you can contract them also, right? For example, this one right here, you can take away the A, take it away, and we just add an apostrophe, right? It would be I'm, okay? Or you can take away this A and just put, add an apostrophe here in the middle. Your, okay? He's. Take this one away, put an apostrophe in the S. He's, okay? And so on and so on. You could do that with all of them. For example, take this one away, apostrophe S, this one away, apostrophe S, this one, apostrophe R E, and again and again. Okay? That's how you contract them. I'm your, he's, she's, it's, were, your. I mean your, <laughs> their, okay? Anyways, let's begin with the questions. Now that we have all of this figured out. And let's start. Are you coming with us? How would you answer that question? We're saying, are you, okay? But let's say that we're talking to you watching over there. Are you coming with us? If your answer is affirmative, you're gonna say what? Yes, what? Yes, I, right? Are you? Yes, I. You know that you have to answer with the verb be in the correct form because I'm asking you with verb be, right? Are you coming with us? Yes, I am. Okay? If it's a negative um, answer, negative statement, no, what? No, I'm contracted, not. Okay? You can contract it also. Okay, the next one says, is he a doctor? We're using the verb be again. Is he? We're talking in third, speaking in third person. Is he a doctor? You could answer affirmatively and say, yes, he, he what? Well, we have all this here. He is, right? You cannot say he's because you would have to put another adjective after. For example, yes, he is. And then you could say, he's a doctor, okay? He's a doctor. But you cannot say, yes, he's, and then end the statement, okay? That's not correct. Yes, he is. Okay. Or, if it's a negative one, no, he's. Since we have something else to complement it, we can use a contraction, right? No, he's not. Or, no, he isn't, okay? That's another way to contract is not. You could say, no, he's not, or no, he, what? You could put this or this. He is, he isn't, which means is not. Two words into one. That's how you contract it, okay? Next one. Are we going to the park? Okay, I'm using are. Are we going to the park? How would you answer that question? You could answer affirmatively and say, yes, what? Yes, use the same personal pronoun. Yes, we, what? We is, no, right, we have here, we are. Remember, you cannot put we're, okay? 
We are. Oh shit. Okay, yes, we are. Or you could say, answer negatively and say, no, we. You can contract it this time because you have more. Um, the complement of the sentence, right? Yes, we are. You cannot say yes, we're, okay? No. Yes, we are. Oh, no, we're not, okay? Or no, we aren't. Instead of putting this here, you could simply go ahead and do this. No, we, oh, uh, let me see where I can write it here. Aren't, okay? That's how you contract it. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Or no, we aren't. Okay, this is how you answer common verb be questions. Remember, you have to be careful um, and look at the pronoun you're using. Okay, for example, maybe you're not gonna, they're not gonna say we. You can say like, um, are John, Jessica, and I going to the park? You know that's we, right? Yes, we are. No, we're not. Okay? Or is Daniel a doctor? Yes, he is. Or no, he's not. You're not always going to be using the personal pronouns, but sometimes, right? But you already know what those are. Anyways, the next one. Is it okay? Is it okay if I smoke here? Okay. This is a personal pronoun, verb B. I know you're not talking about something, right? Is it? Okay. You're not talking about an animal or a thing, but you're talking about the um, situation, right? Is it okay if I smoke here? You still have to say what? If you're okay with it, you're gonna say yes. What? Yes, it, what? R, M, no, right? Is or answer negatively. No, it's not. You could also compliment it. No, it's not okay. It bothers me, okay? That's one way to do it. Okay, next I'm gonna leave you some homework so you can get practice and improve your English. All right? All right. All right, folks. For homework, you're gonna make questions with the verb be, okay? For example, are you okay? Are they coming to the party? Are we going to the prom, okay? You're gonna make all those questions in the comment section below this video. And once you see some other questions, if you can, answer some from other viewers, all right? That's gonna help you to practice and to get feedback from others, all right? Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Hey, what are you doing? I just finished the class. Um, oh my God. Oh, you're still here. <laughs> hey, well, you're watching anyways, so I might as well give you a fun English fact. Did you know that the most commonly taught foreign language in the world is English? Okay, so visit our website, okay? It's www.eslenglishacademy.com. That's eslenglishacademy.com. Would you like to watch my next video? Click on the television to the right.